Join us as we count down the 10 star NFL players in the game today that have the biggest proclivity to be crybabies. F***ing terrible. F***ing worst call I've ever f***ing seen, man. These are players that, in spite of their undeniable talent, have gained reputations for their immature behavior, selfish choices, and routinely making decisions that are detrimental to their teams. Odell Beckham Jr. When it comes to NFL crybabies, Odell Beckham Jr. is probably one of the first faces that comes to mind for modern NFL fans. Ever since he broke into the league at LSU, he's gained a reputation for two things, making spectacular catches and spectacular messes, both in the media and the locker room. Especially during his time in Cleveland and New York, Odell Beckham Jr. was regularly in the spotlight for his emotional outbursts and sideline tantrums that really took away from all the great things that he was actually doing for his team between the lines. To say that his behavior has often taken the focus away from his on-field performance is a massive understatement. There was Beckham's infamous fight with a kicking net, which he later proposed to, which is a classic example of his dramatic tendencies, and the teenage-like feud with former Carolina Panthers cornerback Josh Norman. Off the field, he hasn't exactly been an angel either. He famously caused an entire flight to deplane because, well, he couldn't follow instructions. Look, OBJ can play, but it still will always come with more than his fair share of crybaby antics. Aaron Rodgers While Aaron Rodgers is a future Hall of Famer, his off-field drama has often made headlines, particularly in the latter half of his career. The first indication that he might have crybaby tendencies started to appear when the weirdness around his apparently strained family relationship became a topic of public interest. He also has not shied away from publicly criticizing teammates and coaches throughout his entire career. One notable instance occurred in 2018 when he openly questioned the play calling and offensive scheme under then head coach Mike McCarthy. He parlayed this into a highly publicized standoff with the Green Bay Packers management over his contract and future with the team. That created some significant off-season drama. And of course, the whole uh, immunized controversy, which regardless of what you believe about the topic, was immature behavior no matter what. Rodgers' ability to generate headlines with his unpredictable comments and actions always keep him in the spotlight for both the right and the wrong reasons. Baker Mayfield Baker Mayfield has been one of the more polarizing players in the NFL ever since the Cleveland Browns took him number one overall out of Oklahoma. His brash attitude and competitive spirit were flagged as a double-edged sword coming out of the draft, and yeah, that has proven to be very, very true. Because while his honorary nature has made him resilient on the field, which has at times been tumultuous for him, it has also resulted in some very erratic, immature behavior both online and in real life, which has put him in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Like when he went back and forth on social media with perennial pot stirrer Rex Ryan. His immaturity has definitely overshadowed his potential as a quarterback and as a leader of a franchise. And yeah, I don't think anyone wants their QB1 to be a crybaby. Jamal Adams During his time with the New York Jets, Jamal Adams built up a reputation for being one of the best safeties in the entire game. He was fast, strong, and extremely versatile. New York put him in all sorts of positions and he just always seemed to deliver. Unfortunately, over time, all that attention seemed to go to the former 6th overall pick's head, and he started to get a little too big for his britches, and as you may have guessed, that crybaby behavior ensued shortly after. During the latter part of his tenure with the Jets, Adams was openly critical of head coach Adam Gase's leadership and coaching style, which, don't get me wrong, he's kinda right, but this still resulted in him eventually getting pushed out of town. Well, I mean, technically, he demanded a trade, which, you know, that's all the more crybaby-like. Either way, though, the point is, he soured the relationship with the team that drafted him because of his immature and selfish behavior. And in the time since, he has proven time and time again that he is far and away one of the biggest crybabies in the game today. Maybe he should spend more time learning how to actually play in coverage instead of whining all the time. Because the defensive tackle allegations are valid. Jalen Ramsey Jalen Ramsey is one of the top cornerbacks in the league, but his frequent trash talk and public criticisms of team 
teammates and opponents have made him a bit of a polarizing figure. After all, you never want players that make it more about themselves and their personal feuds than what the team as a whole are doing. His hallmark controversy took place down in Duval after his public request for a trade from the Jacksonville Jaguars in subsequent feud with the team's management created significant drama. So much so that it almost resulted in him throwing hands with his head coach and notably a middle-aged man, Doug Marone. Ramsey's ability to back up his talk with his play keeps him relevant, but his off-field antics often overshadow his on-field contributions. I mean, after all, do you really want a player that'll throw such a tantrum that he'll literally come within seconds of fist-fighting his coach on the sideline? No. Stefan Diggs so, Stefan Diggs is a confusing one, because there was a brief, well, extremely brief time, now that we're looking back on it, where it seemed like the crybaby allegations that he caught were more a result of his environment in Minnesota in the mismatch of personalities with his then quarterback, Kirk Cousins. But after the recent falling out of love that he had in Buffalo with the Bills, it's hard to believe anything other than that Diggs is immensely immature and prone to the same kind of diva behavior that has plagued oh so many wide receiver ones before him. It started back in the 2022 NFL season, as tensions between Diggs and the Buffalo Bills started to become evident. Then there were reports of disagreements with the coaching staff and frustration over the team's performance, and of course, play style that really began to surface. This led to intense media scrutiny over Diggs' visible frustration during games and post-game comments, which more than hinted an underlying issue. The two sides worked to mend the fences in 2023, but the relationship was ultimately too far gone and they lost him for pennies on the dime this offseason. Which, considering his apparently close relationship with quarterback Josh Allen, is hard to believe. But it is that kind of emotional volatility that puts Diggs deservedly in the classification of NFL crybaby. And quite frankly, is probably what's keeping him from taking that next step in his career and getting to the Super Bowl. Michael Thomas Michael Thomas has shown flashes of brilliance in his career, but his peaks were pretty darn high, and considering his relevance in the national football discussion, he's still gonna get the star designation. But in any case, in recent years, his behavior has drastically overshadowed his contributions on the field. Once a top wide receiver whose play outweighed his, let's call it, thorny behavior, Thomas has really struggled with injuries and inconsistent play as of late, and his emotional outbursts and social media tirades have really become just all too common. Thomas's controversies reached a peak in 2020 when he was suspended by the team for punching a teammate during practice. If Thomas isn't careful, and more importantly, if his play doesn't pick up soon, he'll find himself out of work sooner rather than later. Kyler Murray All right. There is no denying that Kyler Murray has had a good start to his NFL career, and that the young and talented quarterback is as dynamic as they come. But, and here is the big but, Kyler Murray's career has been more about his immaturity and questionable leadership than anything he's done on the field. There was his public contract drama with the Cardinals, which was bad enough, but when you factor in the now infamous study clause in his contract, that really highlighted concerns about his dedication to his craft, and the way that he was just overall behaving, it's hard to see him as anything other than a massively overpaid crybaby. Lane Johnson while you might not expect it from an offensive lineman, as they are usually gritty, unselfish, and hard-nosed guys, Lane Johnson has slowly but surely earned the designation of being one of the biggest crybabies in the game today. One of the biggest controversies surrounding Johnson was his 10-game suspension in 2016 for violating the NFL's performance-enhancing drug policy, which, of course, Johnson vehemently denied in true childlike fashion. He even took it to the next level and went to the NFLPA, saying that he was unfairly targeted like, all NFL players aren't subjected to drug tests. Johnson is not shy around the media, and it often rubs folks the wrong way. He's publicly blasted the league's handling of player safety issues, which, yeah, yeah, that's fair. But this is just the tip of the iceberg for him. Johnson was always out there and creating distractions. Whether it was half-heartedly calling out the Patriots, suggesting that their success was due to a culture of fear and pathological no fun, or making public comments about his team in the media after a tough loss. Reality is, is that Johnson always seems to say things that simply do not need to be said publicly. A quintessential trait of being a crybaby. Patrick Mahomes. Alright, Patrick Mahomes is undeniably one of the most talented quarterbacks in all of the NFL. We are not going to partake in the fool's errand of trying to convince anyone of anything else than that. But, you know, if we're being fully honest, like 100%, over the last couple of years, he's sort of let this star treatment get to his head a bit. And he's become, well, 
a tiny bit of a crybaby, especially when it comes to dealing with the refs. If you watch the Chiefs play on offense, he cannot go more than two or three plays without complaining about something. It's absolutely insane. He is, of course, an exception in his group in the fact that his occasionally immature behavior and public disagreements with teammates and coaches have frankly had zero negative impact on his play or his teams. It's kind of like when LeBron would flop or jaw with the refs. Yeah, it might be unpleasant, but he's still far and away the best player in the game. And overall, a pretty good person, which his teammates know and appreciate. So hey, they put up with it. His most notable incident came in 2023 when he not only called out the refs in dramatic fashion after a game, but also went straight to the source and ranted to Josh Allen on the field after the game about the refs, making him look like a complete chump and opening the Chiefs up to even more scrutiny. The scrutiny which, well, ultimately didn't really mean a thing because they went on to win the Super Bowl again. But still, Mahomes has earned his spot in the top 10 crybabies ranking, and you can't convince us otherwise. But hey, which current NFL star do you think is the biggest crybaby? Who did we get right? Who did we get wrong? Let us know in the comments section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, click in the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, well, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.